What's good, big dog? It's your boy, Dre, and I'm definitely dropping another video for y'all. If you're interested in how I got my slap meal, getting your dog in shape, or just my philosophies and the Sunday wrap up, stay tuned. This for you. Too many minds. 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 For those of y'all who don't know, we just moved, and last weekend we got our furniture. So this makes day seven that I've actually had furniture in my new we house. We also did a fire interview with no other than Outlaw Texas Kennels, David Valdez. He covered a lot of topics about top dog, getting your dog in shape, and how to get your dog ready for both physical competitions and confirmation shows. Go check that out, and I'll put a link in the description. So... I'm starting to teach our oldest youngin how to drive. Man, this was probably the scariest thing I've done in a long time. I would do another tour in Afghanistan rather than do this, but it's gotta happen. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there you go. Now, now start turning. You gotta turn hard, you gotta turn hard so you don't go another lane. And then once you get, to, turn harder, harder. There you go, now straighten out. There you go. There is, that's, that's the other lane over there. We need this lane right here. I'm still practicing my obedience routine with Saki to get him ready for our K-9 Good Citizen uh, test or trial. Like I said in one of my previous shorts, I'll also post a link to that video here as well, that my goal is to prove that these old yellow dogs can do anything another dog can do, plus whoop them. In the words of John P. Kobe, that is. Now, right here, what I'm doing is I'm just doing some basic tug work as well as using the tug for obedience. Now, for my members, y'all already know that in the membership page, I let y'all hear the audio and I give y'all the do's and don'ts of these training methods and how and how I accomplish this. But for those of y'all who want to watch for free, that's fine. And you can just watch and enjoy the free the free content. There's nothing wrong with the free content at all. However, there are things that I'm trying to do and I'm trying to use my story to fund my program. And that's it, y'all. I'm not going to beat y'all with that old salesman pitch today. But, um, yeah. Also, y'all can see Saki is really heavy, which is why I needed to start getting him back in shape. Also, one of the things I'm going to be doing to get Saki back in shape is getting back to hand walking and the basics of it. As you can see here, he's getting familiar with our new neighborhood. And our we got a dope trail. It's about three and a half miles that goes around uh, my neighborhood. And the, and the surrounding neighborhoods. It's also only uh, open for bikers, joggers, and when I bikers, I mean bicyclists, uh, bikers, joggers, and uh, people who are walking. And it has two lanes, a slow lane and a fast lane. So on the mornings when I do my, my uh, bike rides, road work with him, uh, I have a lane as well, man. And I, I thought that was pretty dope. But this was a warm up for the next scene, which you're gonna be uh, showing here shortly. Hopefully you run back to the That in the background was Game Dog Talk, y'all. Uh, whether y'all notice or not, to all the Pitbull channels out there, 7 8 Sports, Schoolboy, Walk 'em Down Ram, Brother Bop, Rasta Man, Fat Bill, PBK, Genuine APBT, Weedy Boy, Gas and Go, Red Leash, Bottom Boy, Cutthroat, uh, Master of All Bulldogs, The Maddest OG on Instagram, uh, all the Pitbull chats on Facebook, uh, all the members of the Shark Tank, the Shogun Army for show, uh, my brothers, when they put up their stuff, Soul, even Rose and the Bully Gang community, uh, I think he is going by Calico now. Let's go. Uh, let's I'm go listening board. to y'all stuff. Go let's go when let's I'm go working my dog. Let's go so like, let's even go if board. I don't, even let's if you don't see a comment when you first leave the video, when I'm walking my dogs at four o'clock in the morning, or if I'm doing a 1.5 mile run or 
I'm hitting three miles on the bike or the slap meal or the email, I'm listening to y'all brothers, man. It is motivational to hear y'all. And there's been times where I've been laying in bed listening to one of y'all videos, and it makes me feel like I'm not working hard enough. So I get my ass back up at 12 o'clock at night and go work my dog some more. Because I truly want to be the best version of myself and my dogs be the best version they can be. All right, y'all. So let me give y'all brothers the rundown on this meal right here. I really wish I had the money and the ability to move a meal made by a custom meal maker. And in the future, I will definitely be getting a custom meal as well as a fire ball. But for right now, the boy Dre got to work with what I got. And with me financing all my operations out of pocket, my brothers and I, I can't afford to be doing that. So I'm going to give y'all brothers the secret. This meal right here, I copped off of Amazon. And uh, the other secret is this is a medium sized uh, meal. Uh, I didn't need to go with a large for my dogs, but my dogs are, uh, don't get above about 55 pounds. Now, both the medium and large meal of the brand that I use can hold up to about 20, 220 pounds. However, uh, I, did, I did this test on purpose because you can save about $300 by getting the medium as opposed to the large meal. And with most American Pitbull Terriers, they're going to feed the medium meal easily, unless you got some big old uh, bully looking dogs. Now, before you start hating, because I know you out there, Hater McHaterson. Uh, you can go ahead and just click out the video, or you can leave a comment in the bottom with your hate. It doesn't matter. But what I will say is this. I'm slowly introducing the puppy to the mill. She's not used to it. Saki is a very confident dog because I've exposed him to a lot of different situations, and he's very confident in all those situations. And I can't guarantee that this puppy will ever be as comfortable on a mill as Saki is. Also, what I just did with my hand in this scene is a no-no. You should not be touching a dog while you're trying to get him to work, in my opinion. Notice I said my opinion, because somebody's going to say, well, that's wrong. And mind you, nothing we say is absolute unless it's a fact, uh, scientific law, which most things we say aren't scientific law. They haven't been proven. But what I want this puppy to do is to learn the work that I want her to do as an adult dog. No, I won't be having her on the mill for regular workouts. Right now, the only workout that she does is play fetch. This teaches her to retrieve. All my members already know this, but for those of y'all who don't know, uh, fetch is the game we're playing right now to get this dog used to the training that I want her to do. Meanwhile, at 6.01, my brother is utilizing some of the Samurai Kennels hides to put in some work with Pink Panther, a.k.a. Whitehead. This is a little mate brother to Samurai Kennel's Kamikaze. Good boy, son. What, Panther? What, Panther? What, Panther? Drag him, son. One, two, three, four, five. Why are you tongue shaking, boy? Why are you tongue shaking? Hey, y'all. I just want to show y'all the puppies that are under the 12 month mark that could have been entered into the digital dog show. This is one of my brother 601 puppies. Now, mind you, 601 is not going to be competing with his puppies in our digital dog show, but I've spoken to Brother Martinez, Game Dogs, and Martinez said he might throw a show. And if Martinez throws that show, then what I'll do is we will compete, and y'all can go up against the Shogun Army and the Shogun Army's dogs in there. Uh, mind you, uh, if you're a part of the Shogun Army and you need any kind of feedback or any kind of help, we will offer you as much help as we possibly can. 
uh, to help sure that you're uh, putting the best foot forward because a Shogun Army win is a win for the Shogun, you know. But, um, yeah, man, my brother puts in phenomenal work with his dogs. And uh, if I didn't tell you this was a puppy, most people would probably think this was a more mature dog, just a smaller, mature dog. But this is a puppy right here, y'all. And uh, I'm not going to lie, man, like uh, this right here will definitely be going into the into the into the blood bloodline because uh, just look at it, man. Like this is the kind of dogs that I like. This dog purely is a, is clearly a working dog. You know, look at their structure. Look at the way he moves the body. Look at the abdominal and dorsal muscles of this dog contracting. This dog wants to work. Man, I, 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 I get so excited talking about this stuff, man, because it's a, it's a true passion of mine, man. Um, and y'all know, like I said, I'll never be a, a old school dog, man. That's why I had to coin the term neo dog, man. All my neo dog men stand up. You know, uh, we don't we don't take them to the box. But I promise you, I promise you, if I'm walking my dog and a dog gets loose and my dog does what the American Pit Bull Terrier has deeply ingrained into their psyche, I'm going to let my dog do work. I keep my brake stick on me. I hope the other owner keeps their brake stick on them because I always have my dog on leash in public and I respect all the laws. I will not, I repeat, I will not violate the Animal Rights Act of 19, whatever year that was. I, ain't, I can't even think of right now, but I'm not going to violate anything illegal. However, if my dog is on leash and I'm standing my ground and your dog comes within six feet, which is the, the leash limit in Arizona, it was in Texas and in North Carolina, the states that I've lived in, six feet is what you get. If you come within six feet and my dog snatch your dog up, I'm going to let him do God's work on your animal. That's also if you're threatening me and you roll up on me. And I feel like my life is in danger. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to throw hands if I feel like you're not armed either. Because I want to I'm only going to use the amount of force necessary to stop the assailant. But if you roll up on me and my dog, and my dog is snarling and growling at you, you're obviously a crazy person. And I want to let you know right now that Arizona is a concealed or open carry state. Please, please, please do not take this as a threat. I am not threatening anybody. I just want y'all to understand that there is a lot less good sense and a lot more common sense than what people realize. And just because you feel like I shouldn't put hands to you does not give you the ability to violate my personal space. This has been another Samurai Kennels Sunday Weekly Wrap Up. I appreciate y'all for watching.